Lastly, I'd like to talk about the risk assessment. How and who are the individuals that are more likely to catch this infection? So let's go to age first. Now, the majority of people who uh, expired so far uh, has been of the elderly, 60s and over. Now, of course, it doesn't mean that you cannot be infected and die from this, because in China, um, a young physician died in his uh, uh, 30s, late 30s and early 40s. And uh, of course, it's also how much you are exposed to the virus. If you are a person who is in good health, I think your chances of survival is much better than somebody with multiple medical problems like diabetes, cancer, uh, hypertension, heart disease, or you recently had organ transplant. And it's also where you live because there are certain countries um, that may have less uh, access uh, to health and diagnosis. So you live in a provincial area where there's mostly farmland, very rural, versus somebody who lives in a city and the university hospital is right next to you. So, and each continent, of course, is different. Southeast Asia is the major hub of uh, spreading this. Uh, so in China, they have done uh, in trying to enclose, to immobilize, to act so that the population does not move and spread the, um, the virus, despite the fact that it was during Chinese New Year. I'm glad that have, we don't need that in the United States right now, but we do have uh, ability to quarantine patients who have high risk and exposed to these uh, possible infection. Uh, I'm sure our daily news will update you. And then last but not least, uh, we have to know that the politics arena is very important. For instance, if in China they do not let us know the most up-to-date information as to their uh, population, how many new cases, and how many people die or recovered, at what age, the statistics is going to affect the rest of the world in how we manage this uh, problem. And each country may have their own statistics. Sharing that statistics is very important. So it allows us to know and calculate, estimate how to battle this problem. And uh, sharing that information is, in many ways, a political uh, issue. Uh, even as you can see in the United States, the difference between Republican and Democrats, they use this now almost as a, a daily tool uh, to, uh, to fight over certain issues.